Today I will be talking about a portion of a lecture by the respectful Sunni Shaykh Mufti Mank. The lecture was supposed to be about Amir al-Mu'minin but I found it more focused on preserving the names of the companions more than anything else. The Shaykh is of course very respectful and we do dua that inshallah may Allah guide him. Nevertheless, let us begin. When it, when it comes to the time of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu an, many people say that Ali radiallahu an who was upset and he did not want Abu Bakr as Khalifa. That is very far from the truth. He was one of the first to stretch his hand when he was in his home and one of the people came to him and told him, do you know what is happening at Saqifa to Bani Sa'idah? The Muhajireen and Ansar have sat and this is what took place. And now Abu Bakr is being uh, appointed the leader. He quickly rushed out with half of his clothing on and he went and he stretched his hand and pledged allegiance to Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu an. There was no dispute. Like I Now, this is the narration that the Shaykh brought. May Allah guide him inshallah. And it's a narration from Tariq al-Tabari, a narration that it's weak because it contains Saif bin Umar al-Tamimi, who has been called a zindiq and weakened by the majority of Sunni scholars. Now, the authentic narration is this one in Sahih al-Bukhari, where Imam Ali doesn't give Abu Bakr bay'ah for six months, according to Sunni narrations. So we don't believe this. But in this one, it's Sayyidah Fatima dies angry at Abu Bakr. So there is a dispute between the Prophet's family and the Caliphate of the time. We know that the Shaykh might have not done this on purpose, so we ask for forgiveness for him, inshallah, and that he be guided. But we wanted to point out to people what the true narrative is, so that nobody is misguided. Because we, Ahl al we try to find the correct athar from the Prophet and his family and give it to the people, inshallah. Not done this on purpose, so we ask for forgiveness for him, inshallah, and that he be guided. But we wanted to point out to people what the true narrative is so that nobody is misguided. Because we, Ahl al we try to find the correct athar from the Prophet and his family and give it to the people, inshallah.